I got Instagram down there, and I'm so glad that we could hang out live. We'll give everyone a couple of moments to join in. In the meantime, I'm going to pin today's comment in Instagram, our topic and what we're going to be discussing today. Pin. Okay, cool. Hey. Awesome. Hey, everyone. Hey, Danny. Hey, Amy. Hey, Annie. Katie. A lot of ease today. Katie, Amy. Yeah. Okay. So today we're going to be chatting about carb ups um, from my newest book, Keto for Women. And I wish I had a book to show you, but it's, it hasn't been printed yet. I should have one hopefully in a couple of weeks. Um, but if you're new around these parts, I'm the author of this bad boy right here, The Keto Diet. And my newest book just came out April 9th called The Keto Diet Cookbook. Two different books. They're different. And then I have Keto for Women coming out in June, June 18th. And that's the book that I'm going to be reading from today. And if you guys have questions about carb ups or anything else, feel free to post them in the comments below and I will answer them throughout today's conversation um, or at the very end. How often do we do carb ups? What a carb up is? All of those things. So I'll just kind of set the stage for what we're going to be chatting about. And also, I didn't even, I totally forgot this part. I just got so excited to answer your questions. You might be wondering, like, why is Leanne reading from all of her books this month, plus Keto for Women? Just imagine it's like, I'm holding it right here. Keto for Women, yeah. Um, so why am I reading from all these books? Well, a couple of months ago, I decided not to go on a book tour for a bunch of reasons, including the fact that I was still writing Keto for Women, and I'm only one human being. And I don't have a clone, so I can't do all the things. Um, so I decided that a virtual tour like this, where we got to connect like this online, would be so much better. I could connect with so many more of you and read to you, and we would just have a blast. Um, so uh, that being said, if you're like, dang, I want any of these books. They look so great. Leanne is pretty cool. <laughs> you can go to ketodietbook.com to get any of the information about the three books that I'm chatting about today. Um, and I think that's about all the housekeeping items other than, um, we're sponsored up with perfect keto for all of these events. You guys can go to perfectketo.com and use keto or let me check. Now I totally forget. I even memorized this and it's totally gone. I think it's cookbook two zero. There we go. Cookbook two zero to get 20% off all the things like all the full size things cookbook two zero. Awesome. Okay. Let's talk about carb ups because, um, it, this is a question I'm getting more and more lately and the questions haven't stopped. And so I feel like I've covered this topic so well in the past, but there's still so, so, so many questions about carb ups and in keto for women. I really, really, really delved deep. This book is 419 pages of information about keto for women. There are no recipes. Well, like there kind of are, but they're more just like, choose a vegetable, choose a fat, choose a protein. This is how you can make various different meals. So it's not necessarily recipes so much as just like food instruction based on the foods that I recommend um, for your health imbalances. So let's say you have a thyroid imbalance. Well, you would probably eat something different than a woman that has PCOS and a woman that's dealing with um, menstruation issues, it's dealing with PMS or a menopause. So all these certain imbalances or experiences within life are going to require different foods and different support on your ketogenic diet. So I break it all down in a three-step process um, for all ladies on the ketogenic diet. So yes, it's 419 pages of pure information. Oh my gosh. I'm probably crazy for writing this book, but today I wanted to read from you on the carb up section on page 186. It uh, starts by saying carb ups made for women. As you can see, there are numerous ways to change up your macros on keto. So this is directly after um, a section that just really delves deep into how to adjust your macros depending on what your health imbalances are. Now there's a question on how many recipes are in keto for women, zero. It's just all information and instructions. And then you get into step three of really customizing your ketogenic diet. 
and then I'm talking to you about how to create your own recipes given the, the healthy foods that I recommend on a certain imbalance. So like I said, with thyroid, you should probably be eating more seaweed. So here's how to incorporate seaweed or add it to the recipes that you already know. So zero actual recipes. Okay, so as you can see, there are numerous ways to change up your macros on keto. Some of them will work for you and others don't because you're a woman on keto who I'm assuming has completed steps one and two of the process outlined in this book. I'm just about certain that the strategy you'll find most effective is the carb up. Why? It's a perfect balance of adding variation, not going overboard, staying balanced, being being in control, having a healthy relationship with carbs, and boosting your nutrient intake. If you're just joining us, I'm reading from my newest paperback, Keto for Women. It comes out June 18th. You guys can find out more by going to ketoforwomen.com. I've pinned it in the comment here on Instagram, and it'll be in the link below on YouTube, so you guys can check it out too. Okay, benefits of carb ups. Because carb ups are practiced at the end of the day, they offer a host of unique benefits. An evening carb up will replenish your system, provide better sleep and more serotonin, build muscles and encourage a weight loss whoosh. So I'm going to get into what each of these are. But um, if you're like, what's a carb up? A carb up is, a, it is where you eat a ketogenic diet and then every couple of days, once a month, once a week, I don't care, you have a touch of carbs. Now, how many carbs you eat or how often is completely up to you, but on page, I think it's 26, 24, darn it. On page 24 of the Keto Diet Cookbook, I go into a little bit of detail about when to eat carbs at, at a certain point of your cycle. And if you're not cycling, I tell you how to do that. Um, but th that part, this is also in Keto for Women these little macro pies and a whole bunch more are in my newest book, Keto for Women. So if you're curious about that, the Keto Diet Cookbook. So carb ups are basically when you're eating more carbs at night on your ketogenic diet. So why does it replenish your systems? Or let's get into the details about that. When you're fat adapted and consume a touch of carbs in the evening, your body uses the glucose to support your endocrine, muscular, and nervous systems, and then slides back into ketosis by morning. While the metabolism does slow down during sleep, this only applies to fat and protein me metabo metabolo metabolization. Wow. <laughs> Carbohydrate <laughs> Uh, carbohydrate continue at the same rate. Uh, carb so basically what I'm saying here, just to like dumb it down really good, is when we eat proteins, fats, and carbs right before bed, the protein and fat will uh, burn at the same rate. But our carbohydrates will burn at a quicker rate. They will go at the same rate and then actually increase before you wake up. About four hours into when you sleep. So meaning your fear of eating carbohydrates before bed is officially busted. So in Keto for Women, I link to all the resources throughout the book and I've actually coordinated them like in, I'll show you this. In my first book, all the resources are in the back of the book, the sources are in the back of the book, but they're not organized. So you kind of have to like go through each one and be like, what am I looking for? But in Keto for Women, I organized all of them. So you can go to the section on cyclical ketosis and then read up on those studies if you want to go through it. And that specific study is linked up in there where it shows that um, the metabolization of carbohydrates adjusts as we sleep. So I don't know if you were like big into Oprah in like the 90s where she always said, I don't eat carbohydrates before bed because it goes straight to your hips. It's not totally true. Actually, let me take that back. It's not true. Okay, the next piece to the benefits of carbohydrate boosting or how I like to call it is carb ups. It provides better sleep and more serotonin. Eating carbs at night increases the brain's uptake of tryptophan, which is used to promote promote melatonin, the sleep hormone. Tryptophan also boosts serotonin, which leads to improved sleep, mood, weight loss, fat loss, exercise recovery, and immune health. What's more, better sleep means better insulin and leptin sensitivity. And speaking of sleep, you'll dream right through the brain fog, blood sugar spike and crash, and cravings that often result from consuming carbs. Now, hey Lauren. Um, now the big piece here, I think, 
So many of us keto folk are like terrified of carbohydrates and we think that we're going to experience this like huge, massive craving the next day. But if you've practiced a carb up or practiced any sort of cyclical ketosis, you probably know that the next day you're not interested in any food. And that's how you know you've done it right. When you eat just enough carbohydrates that it resets your leptin, you're able to fast longer, you wake up feeling refreshed, rejuvenated, energized. Now, if you don't, then you probably didn't have the right types of carbs or you didn't have enough or you had way, way too many. So try not to just push carb ups aside because if you're struggling, now this message is really just for women struggling on the ketogenic diet. If you feel great on your ketogenic diet and there's literally nothing wrong with you, why would you adjust it? You're fine, like keep doing, like live, live your truth. But if you're not doing well on your ketogenic diet, then why aren't you adjusting it? Just because somebody on the internet or in a book says to do a certain thing doesn't mean that it's gonna work for you. And this goes for carb ups. You may try it and be like, Leanna's crazy, carb ups don't work for me. Thankfully, there's more to Keto for Women, my newest book, than just carb ups. But this was like an ongoing trend in Facebook, my Instagram Messenger, and basically everything this week. So I thought carb ups is what we're gonna focus on from the book. Now, another thing you need to keep in mind when you're doing carb ups, um, one of the benefits being it helped helping to build muscle. So if you work out in the evening, a carb up is the perfect post-workout go-to. Your insulin will send the glucose from the carb up straight to your muscles to aid in recovery and growth. Now, I'm super simplifying the body here, but that's all you really need to know. Do you go into options for carb ups? I'm really struggling in keeping the fat below. I'm guessing like below. Yes, I do go through a bunch of um, instructions on how to do a carb up. I really can't wait until I have the physical book in my hand and I can like show you guys. Um, would a banana be a good carb up? Yeah, that'd be a really good carb up. Now, the way I see it, there are like three different types of bananas. <laughs> like the super, super green ones, which are richer in um, resistant starch, really good for the gut. And then you have like the somewhat ripe banana, and that's pretty medium on the glucose scale. And then you have like the super overripe banana and that's like pure sugar and awesome for energy. So what I used to do is when I was carving up specifically with timed workouts, I would mostly go for the super overripe banana um, just because I found that that helped me um, build as much muscle as I could. It felt really good on just about everything and felt good to me. But know that if you try a banana and it doesn't sit well with you, remember what type of banana you tried because the type of banana, meaning if it's super green, pretty ripe, or like way beyond ripe, will really dictate your experience with it. Uh, how much fat is too much fat for a carb up? I would say anything more than a tablespoon is probably too much fat for a carb up. Specifically, if you're using carb ups and just the general ketogenic diet to lose weight. If you're not, like in the case of my carb ups when I, so I started using carb ups to help with weight loss and it really helped. And then I was like, wait a minute, my hormones are still screwed up. I wonder if I can use carb, carb ups to help with my hormones. So when I used it for weight loss, I was very, very strict with how much fat I had with my carb up. When I was using my carb up to help my hormones, I really didn't care how much fat I ate and still don't. Um, now that's for me who I, I really have absolutely no goal to lose weight. If anything, I think I could benefit from gaining I don't know, five, 10 pounds ish. Like I don't really, I don't really worry about it. My cycle is pretty on point now. So I just trust my body with that, but that can come with time for you. But I would say that if you're using a carb up as part of your weight loss protocol, then it's good at like one tablespoon. Um, does this advice information apply to those of us with uh, pancreatic insufficiency? My pancreas doesn't make the enzymes needed to break down food into nutrients. Then you should be on a supplement and your doctor should have talked to you about that for sure. Um, my personal favorite, uh, it's a prescription medication, it's called Creon, C-R-E-O-N. If you're not on anything, you could ask your doctor if they think it might be good for you. Um, are there any PCOS carb specific information in the book? I'm confused on how to incorporate with having PCOS and insulin resistance. My attention got distracted, so if, I, if you answered, I'm so sorry. That's okay, Rachel. Um, yeah, there's a whole section on PCOS. Now, PCOS with carb ups is an interesting beast because some women say that they do really, really well on carb ups with PCOS and other women say that they don't. So you can kind of um, use your best judgment on this. 
I would just say that if I had PCOS and I wasn't able to regulate my blood sugar, I would not practice carb ups personally for me. I would really, really try to get a handle on my blood sugar and just my overall in insulin sensitivity before I played with carb ups. Okay. Um, one of the last benefits we'll be talking about is encouraging a weight loss whoosh. So when we shed weight, fat is removed from our fat cells and replaced with water. So even though you may have lost inches, your weight can remain unchanged, but carbs bind to water. Every gram of carb needs, needs four grams of water, and this is where carb ups come into play. The carbs we eat pull the water from our fat cells, and a couple of days later, we get a whoosh of weight loss, rocketing us past a plateau. Awesome. Do you teach macros for weight loss in your new book? Sure do. There's about 60 pages of weight loss content in Keto for Women. Yeah, okay, let's see if I have anything. Okay. Um, so then I go into um, the benefits of eating carbs at night versus eating carbs in the morning. And then uh, there's a question, are you ready for a carb up? So are you ready for a carb up? Good question. The answer is different for keto newbies and keto veterans. By now, if you've followed steps one and two, you can consider yourself ready for a carb up. So you might be wondering what steps, Leanne, we didn't talk about that today. That's basically the basis of the entire Keto for Women program. I didn't... So I've read a bunch of nutrition books in my time. And what I really don't like is that they just like force feed information to you. And it's not really an actual program. It's just like, here you go. Here are all the things you need to think about. And that that's always been really hard for me as a nutritionist and a practitioner and just like a regular human being trying to figure out my body. Um, so for Keto for Women, I wanted to put together a three-step process that you guys could follow, step one, two, and three, to just help you with this process. So in, in, this, in Keto for Women, I talk about um, step one, doing step one, step two, finishing that, and then step three is where you really, really start to customize with tips like this, like carb ups, once you've gotten a really good handle on things, um, so that you can really, really benefit from the information I'm sharing in the book. Um, but if you're a keener and you're reading this whole book before you get started with step one, please read on to determine whether or not you're ready. Keep in mind that carb ups aren't mandatory. Some people do better without them, while others need to do a carb up one or a few or even seven days a week. For example, I've found that women need, women need carb ups more often than men, likely because our hormonal landscapes are a bit more complex. I just got your new book two minutes ago. So excited. Are you talking about Keto for Women? You pre-ordered it? That's awesome. Thank you so much. The pre-orders. Um, I'll just get personal here with you guys for a sec. It's, it's really hard to put yourself out there with anything. You know that. Like, you know, when you buy like some, like some sort of like risque outfit and you're like, are people going to judge me? Writing a book feels very similar to that of like putting yourself out in such a huge way. And I've been really busy, you know, like this last year, I've launched um, Happy Keto Body three times, and I did the cookbook and Keto for Women. And so I know that so, so many of you are like, Leanne, you're just making too many things, I can't keep up. And so there's a layer of that. Um, and there's also a layer of I put Keto for Women out there in the world. And I really was expecting more of you to be interested in the book. And the pre-orders have been really slow for this book. And so I'm starting to get really stressed out and self-conscious about it because you guys asked me to create this book and I've had like thousands upon thousands of people saying, I want a book like this. And so I wrote a book and now <sighs> there's always this, um, there's a lot of fear that surrounds putting yourself out there in a book and putting um, investing so much of your time, energy and money into something without knowing if you're ever going to um, get it back. And that's something that I've really, really been working on lately is understanding that just because you put energy, time, energy or money into something, it might not mean that you get it back in the way that you think or that you get it back at all. And so I'm dealing with my own um personal journey with rewards and just understanding like the people that want this book will get this book and the people that will benefit from this book will get this book and just repeating it to me myself over and over and over again um, because right now uh, the pre-orders are at 400 pre-orders for keto for women and if that number doesn't go over a thousand by june 18th 
Like, I just don't know if it'll be in a lot of stores. I don't know if it'll be available. And that scares me. It worries me. It makes me doubt myself. Um, and so if you have pre-ordered, thank you so much. If you haven't already, please do. Because if we don't get over a thousand pre-orders, like, I don't know if this book will be available to everybody. And it definitely guarantees that you will get a copy regardless of what happens. Um, it's just really scary. And so I think it's important for everybody, whether we are people on the internet or people you know, in your real life. I mean, I don't have a lot of, well, I do have a lot of real life people, but you are my people and there's so many of you. Um, it's important that I be honest with you guys and open with you of my fears. Uh, and I'm really terrified for this one. And I would say like the feelings and emotions around this book was like, this is such a joke. Nobody's going to buy this. I don't even know why I tried. <laughs> that was kind of the story I was telling myself. And then with this book, I was like, dang girl, you did this. You made this. And I've been so proud of it. And every time I pick it up, I'm just like, oh, but for keto for women, it's like, it's science, it's something different, it's scary, just like the first book, you know? A lot of people were naysaying me about the fact that um, I promoted carb ups. And so when I wrote the first book, I was terrified that people were gonna like, get really angry at me and call me an idiot. And just like, I, I was really seeking validation from others when it came to the first book. And I feel the same sort of energy with the third book. And so I think it's just important that I share that with you guys. And I'm really excited about the book. I can't wait to get a copy. And there have been some questions since I went on a tangent about my emotions. I will pre-order everything you write and put out into the world is amazing. Oh, thank you very much, uh, Trivali. It is very much needed. Yeah, I feel the same. Like there, there's no book like this. And there are so many women on keto that are struggling or that want to do keto, but they're scared of it. And I just don't think all the fear mongering mostly by other, like by men in the industry is okay. Um, I will happily share anything I need to, to help. This information is so, so important. All you got to do is share ketoforwomen.com that directs people to the blog post that I wrote all about the book, gives you all the pre-order information at ketoforwomen.com, all the pre-order information. You're also entered to win when you pre-order. So when you pre-order before June 18th, you're entered to win one of three VIP memberships into my 12-week uh, video program, uh, Happy Keto Body. Uh, will the pre-order be printed version or ebook if this doesn't go over a thousand? <laughs> Don't say this if this doesn't. Oh gosh, cancel that. <laughs> um, um, the pre-order, um, Keto for Women pre-order should include the ebook in a couple of weeks before launch. So definitely check back June 1st or just pre-order a paperback copy because it really helps me and they're on for like 35% off. It's less than $20 and you don't even need to pay for it today. So if you just pre-order, you'll get charged June 18th and it's like a huge help. I'm definitely getting it. 40th birthday gift to myself. Happy birthday, Katie. I will pre-order. Thanks, Barb. I will pre-order today, Brittany. You rock. Thanks, girl. I will buy every book you write. You're amazing, Leanne. Don't psych yourself out. Everything you do is for us and so much appreciated. You and your books have helped me in so many ways down 47 pounds. Ah, oh, thank you. It's it's a it's it's a real thing. And I, I watch a lot of other authors and they don't share their fears or apprehensions about anything. And I'm just like, they've got to feel them and they just don't share it. And I think it's really important that we be honest with ourselves because whether you're writing a book, you're trying out for a, I don't know, whatever you're doing, there's got to be fear to what you're doing. And all of us doubt ourselves way more than we should. And so I think it's really important that we all share how we're feeling so that we can be encouraged by others when they face their fears and do it anyway. I didn't know about it, but I'm totally getting it. Thank you for the incredible information. Awesome. So that's everything to do with Keto for Women. There will be an ebook. Uh, check back June 1st. You should be able to pre order the ebook then, but I'm not 100%. I have no control over this stuff. I have control over how I write the book. That's where it starts and ends. Um, I didn't know how else to ask because I love it in hand. I would be a bonus if you could put it in Audible OMG. I love listening to you geek out on science. Okay, so. I don't think Keto for Women will be an audiobook, but I don't know yet. It's like if you just look at the information in my first book, Keto for Women has a lot of charts and things like this and tables. 
So it might be kind of weird, but once the book comes out after about a year or so, I'll look at maybe doing an audio book if, um, if we can make it work. But I know it can get a little bit tricky when you have like charts and tables and things. Awesome. So that, that was everything to do. Well, not everything to do with carb ups. I mean, I'm looking at the keto for women, um, book right here on my laptop and the pages that I've been editing and like, and this is like page one of, I don't even know how many pages on carb ups, probably like 20 or something. It just keeps giving. No, it's gotta be like maybe 30. Yeah. So I hope you guys, um, saw benefit in today's conversation and things are going really well for you. And if there's a specific topic you'd like me to cover, I'm going to try to do another live tomorrow afternoon. Um, so if you want me to read from the cookbook or maybe even the first book or keto for women, pretend I'm holding it up right now. Cool. And if you want to order a copy of keto for women, I would not be opposed to that. You can go to keto for women.com to pre-order you lock in the lowest price, for the book between now and launch. That's if you use Amazon. They have a price guarantee where when you pre-order the book, you don't pay for the book. And then they'll just charge you the lowest price that it will be between now and launch on June 18th. And that's when they will charge you. So by pre-ordering the book, it sends a really strong message to bookstores that people want this book so that they order it. And um, when we go to print in a couple of weeks, we'll use that number as to how many books we print. Um, yeah, cool. Well, thanks so much for hanging out with me, guys. Uh, again, that coupon code, if you want to use it for Perfect Keto, is cookbook20 for 20% off all Perfect Keto goodies just for hanging out with me today. And so if you have, like, a bunch of stuff in your cart, go use it. Um, and, yeah, if we can talk about cravings tomorrow, Swiss Keto Girl recommended that we talk about cravings. I have a whole section on cravings. So let's do that tomorrow. I will make a note, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs>